Um. Why is the sky red? What did I do? What did I do? Um. I think. Who? What the hell? What are these obelisks? That's a triangle. They've made a triangle in it. No. Oh sh! <laughs> oh! Well, are you supposed to be out of the booth. I'm getting back in the booth. I didn't know I wanted that. So, you know, there's stuff like I noticed that sometimes, you know, you we find ourselves skimming through Amazon or you know find ourselves skimming through like Wayfair. Or, uh, or Walmart, and we're just like, huh, I did not know that I needed that. I didn't know that I wanted that. And it's like, and it's just, it's like for me, the uh, burger press, you know, the burger press that I got for the, uh, uh, for, you know, my smash burgers and everything, by the way, made the process about 10 times easier. I than... told you you wanted that. <laughs> yes, yes. But now after using it, I'm just like, how did I go without this? Like, how did I live my life, you know, not having one of these? And now that I've got it, it's the greatest thing ever. But lo and behold, you know, <laughs> we see these things and we are just like, like, dude, I need that. I want that in my life. And I usually see those kind of things when I don't have the money for them and then I forget about them by the time I do. <laughs> That's how that goes sometimes. I know that um, for me, there's a uh, like there's a few things that I've seen on Amazon. I'm just like, ooh, I want that. And then I see that it costs like six hundred dollars, and I'm just like, but not that much. What are you looking at that costs six hundred dollars? The Moby Huge. Who's that? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm oh. joking. I'm joking. What is that? The gigantic freaking. Three oh, foot that dildo. Thing. Yes, the gigantic oh. three foot dildo. Uh, I—that's uh, the joke. I, there was a dragon table at uh, the one store, uh, Sally's, in the, um, the Kingsport Mall, for like years and years. And I was always like, I'm gonna save up money and buy that some bitch. But it was like five hundred dollars, so I never got it. But it was like. The base of it was like a dragon statue, and it was like it had its wings folded out and everything, and it was just like holding up a piece of glass that was the table. Dude, they have those on so Etsy. Badass. Yeah, I never did get it. There's there's several things that I've uh, that I've seen, and I'm just like it's like that uh, infinite uh, magnetic sand, like micro sand mm -hmm. thing. I want to get one of those so bad. But I know that if I get it, it's just gonna it like it's gonna cost me more than it's worth. Cause I, I love that thing. I think it thing's cool as hell. But I'm just like I can't I can't justify the purchase. I love it, but I can't I'm like I... Plus where would you put it? Probably somewhere in the living room. Oh. Imagine like the cat's just like resting on top of it and like them like trying to swat at the ball that's in yeah, there. Yeah, it'd have <laughs> permanent paw prints on the top of it. That's probably. true, yeah. Although uh, uh, a purchase that I did make because of a uh, because of like an artistic choice was uh, I <laughs> I finally went ahead and bought those. Uh, I told you about like the creative design that we were having for like the band and everything uh what i told you about jt like what we mm -hmm. like the goggles trench coat and then like the sticker in the middle of his head mm -hmm. that's the uh bullet hole one. Oh. <laughs> I, I wish it was a little bit smaller that's i just wish it was just a little bit smaller and that way it could be a lot easier to like make a make a cutout for with the uh with the tattoo covering Mm -hmm. And then my mask up there, you know, the black mask that I bought, I actually went ahead and, like, cut off the, uh, the stuff on it, so, I'm, uh, I'm, and it actually looks pretty good, so mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. Now, now I just gotta get the skull thing painted onto it, but I guess we'll see how it all goes, but, uh, I, I guess, uh, MK has a collection of things that didn't know I wanted. Uh, let's check it out and let's see what's up. Here we go. 
Defender of the Kitchen. I have seen something very similar uh, in oh. which the guy does not have a shield. That's what I was talking about earlier when I saw the uh, I actually like this ver yeah. thumbnail and I was like, that's badass. <laughs> I love the fact that the sharpener... <laughs> The sharpener is his weapon. Yeah. a lot better. Boba Corfet! Oh my god! Oh, and that's the, cool. Fet, Fet, you can get this light. <laughs> that's awesome. It's an MC Chris song. <laughs> that's Fet. <laughs> that's amazing! This curtain design that ensures that there is no annoying light gap in the middle. Oh my god! I work night <laughs> shift and... Oh, oh god. Why aren't they all designed like that? Do I have that? I want that now. Yeah, I do too. Spring through fall. So I have two easier. layers of blackout shades, and they're always still that little bit of glow. Uh, this is perfect. I'm gonna be broke by the end of this episode. <laughs> Miniature mini golf. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! It's like pool, but like way more fun. Yes. No offense to pool, but like I I would rather play that than pool. Look, I know it's a repeat from R slash English, uh, but warning: do not dumb here. No dumb area. I need that on the front door of the basement. <laughs> front, like the door coming down to the basement, that needs to be the sign that everyone sees. They are just hanging it like up here next to the TV or something. I guess, yeah. Either way. Well, that we're always dumb in our videos. So. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> It's just a sign that a lot of workplaces could use. Yes. I'm only buying things I really need from now on. Also me. This Loch Ness ladle is made of 100% <laughs> BPA this. free, I actually want this. And nylon, and will always stand upright in your pot. Serving soup has never looked so cute. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> I want it. Yes. I want it so bad. I need to make a big pot of stew just so I can have it sitting in there. I don't even make soup, like, ever, but I still want it. <laughs> I do, too. I have a Nessie plush from the Apex, I think it is. I don't play Apex. I don't play multiplayer games at all. But, like, the Loch Ness Monster is just so cute. Measuring cups designed to visually uh, depict the fractions they represent. Do they still Ness? Yeah, I guess oh, they do. Cool. I know I'm getting that's old neat. when crap like this excites me. Oh, good. I'm not old yet. <laughs> it's cool, but like, it, it's fine. I feel like this would be a very good 3D printing project. That looks ugly so. as hell. Where do I get one? What in the... That looks like... <laughs> I want it. That's exactly... Right. Yes, it's the, like, that's the Tuscan Raiders. It's like, you're that the fabulous blue one. All of a sudden, you just hear... Oh, 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 and then you you just like... <laughs> just out on the freaking mountain with your friends and one of your friends is on a snowboard and you fucking knock him over with your ski, whatever those are called. Yeah. And they, and just, <laughs> arr, 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 arr. <laughs> That's so good. I what it looks like. The first isn't that bad. Like, it's got the aviator hat looking thing going on, but the second just... Oh, that's unnerving. I wrote a book about fermented food and drinks, and then bound a copy of it in kombucha leather slash vellum. I barely know what kombucha is, and I have no idea what wow. vellum is, but that looks really cool. Of cabbages and kimchi. Very cool. <laughs> Fallout Boy figurines. Okay, I have a lot of, like, figurines wow. and collectibles. I would buy the Pete Wentz one. I definitely one. don't need it. I would buy the Pete Wentz one just so I could shoot it out of a cannon. <laughs> Things like that. I have always wanted to, like, create a micro museum. I can't say I'm a fan of this style of of where, where it's it's stylized. I don't mind stylized, but when they stretch the proportions or squash them down or something, like I I can't stand pop figures. Like if your skull is the shape of any of these people, please seek medical attention. I love fellow boy to death, but like just create action figures of yeah, them. Magneto right. paperclip holder. <laughs> that that. That's just yes, that that's pretty beauty. funny. Yes. Actually, I want PC. that. Uh, doesn't it look delicious? Oh no! I leave that up to you. <laughs> I want to know what flavor boba that is, oh. or would be, and is actually. <laughs> oh, I, guarantee, <laughs> oh, I guarantee. Oh, I those are marbles that are in there, like like mm -hmm. dark black glass marbles, just so it looks like the bubble, like the like the yogurt balls in there. But yeah, is that that's, what they are? Balls of yogurt. No, They're, it was tapioca. Pearls. Oh, tapioca. Sorry, tapioca. Okay. Sorry. Not even sure if I like tapioca or not. I never got to try it. Eh. But I still just love the sound of like when people shoot them out of straws at other people. But it's one of the best sounds ever. Also, did the I things move? Sticker. 
I, I do too. A little corgi with the boba. <laughs> Through the system, or are they just pressed up against, are they like decals on the inside? I hate for that to clog in the middle of like rendering and it just like cooks your CPU. A pen holder I just bought. Dead Fred! Wait, no. Wait, <laughs> okay, this is very similar to so something There used that to be a used... uh, knife holder I always wanted that looked kind of like that. It was just like a dude and he was like backwards and all the knives were stabbed in in different places. Mm, my goodness. We call that the Julius Caesar. They to used sell to sell it, it on thinkgeek.com, but I believe that website doesn't exist anymore. Boo. Pet, it was a pad of paper that was a chalk outline of a man, and it had a, like a red splatter in the middle, and the pen was all red and bloody. Stab through the center of all the paper, so you take out the pen and rip off a, a note. This is probably a slightly more practical version because you can use whatever pen you want, but I love it. So, iPhone, right? Oh, hang on. I'm uh, just call. No. Let me just pull out my phone. Mm -mm. Nick? Lovecraftian phone. Yes, hey, it's, that's definitely your style. My mom would hate that. You take a picture I and it blinks. This! This is actually oh, a tiny really condiment weird. picnic table. I need it. A condiment pic. Oh, a picnic table for you. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I need it. I don't hold events or spend this much time on meal prep or anything like that. But I just, I just want it. A electric picture and frame that changes atmosphere of the picture. Okay, electric picture is like a great band name. But also, that's this is amazing. I would buy this in a heartbeat. Yeah. Shark pigs in a blanket mold. Okay, so wait, how does it? Oh, so you put those don't look deep enough. You make your pigs oh, in a blanket no, horrifying. Okay, so you you pour the batter in and then you. And uh, I can just see you, Nick. You're just be like, who's eating who now, bitch? Lay the hot dog in and then you cook the whole thing i guess i've never made pigs in a blanket i love the tiny sharks though. dude pigs in a blanket are amazing dog. that's very cute i i oh. wouldn't want to oh. no, I, don't, I don't like the texture of yarn this pizza box comes with a mustache you stick in your nose and it hangs there <laughs> This oh, is very like awesome. <laughs> elder hey. one. I have no idea why all those people were obsessed with mustaches. I don't claim them. <laughs> but it is big enough to almost be like cowboy size, so like I'll let it pass. Win at player. No. No, is this <laughs> real? Yes. Uh, That's awesome. That I want it. Nostalgia. Yes, dude. Win I used to amp listen to was all my music on Winamp before yeah. streaming was a thing. Same, dude. So good. It looks pretty fake. This might be one of those. I, I've come across a lot of AI generated like synthesizers and Damn. stuff like that. Like what tech could look like it, which is very cool. And it's based off product photography from like magazines and catalogs and stuff like that. So it it's not quite as bad on the ethical front because literally it's trained on advertisements. Uh, but if this is real, I love it so much. Oh, the physical play buttons and keys. Oh, oh okay, so all, right, all right, moving on. You can plug in anywhere on the square. God, Whoa. is that you? Well, well. This this works for Japanese outlets because they only have two prongs. This isn't grounded. Yeah. And also, I'd worry about the the plug sliding out, like skewing, rotating around the blade so that the blade's like sticking out sideways slightly. Mm, uh. Blueberry mm. bonsai tree. And someone in the comments said they have a pomegranate one. I love pomegranate and blueberries. I didn't Ooh. I didn't know you could make make them do fruit, grow fruit, nature. I don't know plants. Is Zipper that pond. Real? Zipper pond. Huh? Is that real? I think so. Fruit. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh, fruit. Nature. I don't know. Plants. Zipper pond. Zipper pond. Zipper pond. <laughs> oh, okay. That's actually really cool. I love it at night when nature gets to relax and, and take off her skin. A $10 popcorn that has compliments or insults on the bag. Double good. Sweetie, you salty. I kind of like this, but it also <laughs> has hipster vibes. I don't I don't know why they have these two hipster things in a row. I, I don't know why. Bowler hats and mustaches. When I'm president of video games. Do we have one of those now? Because we, we could use one. All games I've will seen have this a post recently. With busy lives feature. Hi, I see you haven't played this game in a month. Here's a reminder of last things you did and where you need to go next. Press X for a quick tutorial of the controls you forgot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. All Every games game need a click. recap feature. <laughs> yes. I have restarted so many fucking video games because I quit them halfway through and then I didn't come back to them until six months later and I didn't remember what was happening or how to play it. Yeah. <laughs> like, some of them were very long. I've actually 
went past the time skip, which is the halfway point, for any of you who don't know, almost to the end of the first playthrough of Near Replicant before. And then I had to completely restart and do it again and do all the endings and beat it. So, like, I played almost an extra full playthrough of that game because I took a break halfway through and forgot how to play it. I used to do that every damn year with Assassin's Creed 2. Um, like, the first Assassin's Creed came out, I beat it. When the second one came out, I got it and I played, like, halfway through. And then I forgot and didn't play it for a year. And then the next one was about to come out, so I went back and I played it all the way through from the beginning. Oh. And then when I got a hold of the next one, like, shortly after, I beat it, and I played it, like, halfway through, but then I burned out because I had played too much Assassin's Creed recently. And I did that with every single game. I just had to restart every single one. Jesus. Beat it the next year before the next one came out. I'd go crazy if I had... If I, I eventually that. quit doing that. But right now, I'm on my third attempt at playing through Odyssey, and I'm finally further than I've ever been, but I have restarted Odyssey three times now. Jesus, man. So... We'll go to the menus Finally and killed my to... first sage last uh, last night, night before last, so at least one eighth of the way through, I guess. It's fine. Tutorial <laughs> level, and and I I, you know, I tried reviewing games a little bit, and and it, that that was my main problem. I would I would hit games that I really liked, and I go back to them like a few weeks later, like two months later, usually. I have no idea where I am. I have no idea what's going on. I don't remember any of these story people. People like this person is. In trouble, I'd be like, who? I'm still trying huh? to figure out how the inventory works. Pancake There's also the old meme with Gandalf. I have no memory of this place. Yeah, when you restart a game you haven't played forever, I have no memory of this place. Pancake sausage. Uh -uh. Oh, pancake sausage and egg flavored ramen, all one. Is, is there bits of pancake? Mm. Mm. I don't know about Not this Not sure. No. I don't know. I'd try it. I'd give it a shot. See how it tasted. If it tasted like shit, be like, well... I guess I'm donating this now. Technically, pancakes are bread, noodles are bread, so... Yeah, true. Drawers. Hey, you ever just see an image that calls oh, that you poor really without cool. saying anything? Oh. But I, 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 I get the concept. You are taking the Subway sandwich counter and putting it into a drawer. It's a great idea. That is in a home kitchen. There is no need for this like a tupperware container in the fridge Omelets. works for me and well, I imagine being stuff. able to just pull the drawer open next to the stove and have your shredded cheese all ready to throw in and melt on something it's, yeah. exactly. it's an omelet drawer yes d yeah. and like <laughs> really bad adhd unless this is like your thing like some people have like a soda dispenser or like a jukebox in their house and that was like their thing in which case fine i'll let it slide like if the kitchen was your thing and you just wanted the most tricked out kitchen possible hey you did it this candle reuses the same wax invest that's really Ooh. cool does it only do it once i'm guessing it only yeah it only does it once it'd be cool if there was a plunger on the bottom that just like was very lightly spring loaded and gently went down the more wax it collected so that you get like an actual solid candle at the bottom the design of this table oh i love it it's like a variation on those uh those uh, floating table designs hang on where is it connected because they usually connect in the middle and the middle is what actually yeah the middle has a chain it's the tension chain. it's literally the tension between this chain and these four chains are equal and because of the centrifugal force from the uh, chain in the middle basically it's holding all of them up it's it's literally a it's literally like a, a marvel of modern of like modern design. I'm pretty sure if you set something on one of the corners of that, that the whole thing would fall over though. Not necessarily. Because uh, with again how the table is, the uh, tension on the other side would hold it up. Would it? Yes. I've seen I've seen these in action and they're very stable. The only way you can like do something that is if you like twist it and like and like potentially like undo the undo the tension but yeah what where where does it are there magnets involved i'm guessing no. there's magnets involved nope. i don't know there's no center joint i i i'm i am befuddled you have fought it's physics and won physics. my friend yep. well done retired rpg made into a lava lamp i need it <laughs> I'm too much of a nerd. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yes. 
For some reason, when he said retired RPG, I thought he meant like a copy mana. of an RPG you haven't played in a long time that you don't play anymore. And instead, it's literally like a rocket propelled grenade that's yeah. been turned into a lava lamp. Dude, hell yeah. I'd pick that thing up at parties and I'd just be like, just be like hey, you want to see something cool? Check this out. It's if you accidentally yeah. knock that over, it's definitely shattering. Yes. Yeah. I still read RPG and thought role playing game. Did they like take all the papers See? and stuff? You weren't the only one. The tabletop and like make it into a lamp or like the source code for a. No, it's it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. RPG. Just not just These are stuff. completely harmless. Like the only dangerous part is the actual rocket. The rest of it is just a tube. But but this 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 leans a little too far into the part of gun culture I find annoying. So uh, I'm gonna pass. Yeah. SD XL send diffuser extra large. <gasps> oh my God! It's so. Oh. Wow. Wow. So a friend of mine had one of these like behind her bed and I, I don't know what we were, I think we were like re rearranging her dorm room or something and we knocked it over or we were packing up to like leave and he got knocked over and when I left that dorm several years later I made I was able to get back into that room because the dorm was empty and that room still smelled like that oil diffuser. <laughs> Wild Fern, I think, by Pottery Barn or something. Visiting mm. my mother, and she has the most unsettling toilet paper holder I've ever seen. Unsettling toilet paper? Is it? <laughs> what in the... Jesus Christ. Yes. This is like the creepy tiny statue. Some, nope. I don't know why it's Italian restaurants, mostly in, in New York, that have them. But they're like holding a little tray, but their skin just looks like slathered in oil paint. It just looks weird. It, it looks exactly like this. Someone suggested I post these headset crowns I made here. Headset crowns? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's cute. Oh my god, I want a Kirby one. Oh, yeah, those are the uh, those are pretty printed. Cat ears for the one I currently have. Where are those? I bought the. Uh, where, I am, uh, I'm gonna have to find those later. Are are they okay? Well. Uh, oh, they're shark fins. <laughs> wow, I'm dumb. They look like tiny tea lights for like five seconds. That's a, that's all right, but like uh, the, the, the mold needs to like curve around down so that it's just the fin. Because currently it just looks like a shark frozen in a nice block. The future has arrived, my friends. Demolition man. <laughs> Three seashells. Oh my shells. God. Dude, the reference there, man. Demolition man. Morality violation slips. <laughs> wow. Okay, look. I've, uh... That film has lasted... Uh, it predicted so much in terms of, like, the culture war that we currently have. So the Three Seashells. The Three Seashells is... Well, well, that's the thing. When they were making the film, they basically just had no explanation for the Three Seashells. They just sat them there. <laughs> and... Do you know what the interesting thing is? That film was made in 1995. Sandra Bullock was at a movie premiere back in like 2019. And you know what one of the questions was that she got while she was on the red carpet? How do you use the three seashells? Yes. Mm -hmm. 24 years later on a film that she is barely remembers. Wants to know. I do too. How the hell did the three seashells work? Roof tiles. Featuring integrated bird shelters. I like this for really dense. Have you ever seen Demolition like, Man, you know, Kate? So you probably have no idea what we're talking about. Mm -mm. It's 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 easily one of the most underrated films of the nineties. Yeah. So basically, dude gets frozen cryogenically and wakes up in the future. And one of the things that's very odd, well, the violation slips are in the future. You can't curse or like any th like minor like infraction, or like cursing and stuff. Like the AI and the system just automatically writes you a citation for it, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, when he goes to the bathroom, he's like, "There was no toilet paper," and I like toilet paper. And then they're like, "You didn't use the shells," and then, like the three seashells. He's like. How do you use those? But they never explain it. Because the thing, like, <laughs> like, they were just like, it was just like, seashells. yeah, it, he's just like, where you got your toilet paper, you got the three seashells, and it's just like, he doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> <laughs> and they and then, never tell him how. And then it was just like, and then all of a sudden, uh, he, he gives them like a look, just like, I could, I could strangle you. And then he's just like, I, I could see why it could be a little confusing, <laughs> and just never explain at all. Uh, anyway. 
just outside of urban environments. I, I would be worried that some of the birds would start to nest under the, the terracotta tiles and like start to pull them up and, and say goodbye to your gutters. This toilet is merged with the sink. When you wash your hands, uh, it fills the cistern with the wastewater and uses it to flush. I, I hate to be the, the bearer of bad news. And I only know this because I, I took a field trip in Catholic school because Catholic school uh, to jail. That, that, that was literally a field trip. I'm oh, we did sure. that. I think they were trying to like scare we us into that. like behaving well or something. We were already behaving fine, but like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. at least I remember like you, you had to volunteer to be like uh, booked at the police station. I volunteered. I was just like, yeah, go ahead. And they like, they like put me in handcuffs they fingerprinted me, and then they put me in a jail cell, and they locked it. And I was literally sitting in the jail cell for like a good like five like like five seconds, and they were just like, "Now this could happen to you, kids, if you don't keep your if you don't keep your nose clean." Mm -hmm. And then they unlocked the door, they opened it up, and they let me out. And I'll never forget like looking down at my fingers and just like having that black ink on it from the from the fingerprint thing. And just like look at it, just being like, like just trying to clean it off. Oh, I, I, I didn't mind going to the police station. The cops were cool. In the Duval County Jail in Jacksonville, all the, all the toilets had the sink on the top. Like it was just one thing. So like, yeah. I, I'm glad it's it's dressed up, and, and that that would be kind of hard to reach though, if especially if you were short. But these are perfect for New York City bathrooms, which are tort. Well, no, there's there's a thing about it. If you tur put the toilet seat up, and instead of you, you know you sitting down with your back facing that, instead you sit down facing the sink. <laughs> well, no, you got an armrest. You got an armrest to like rest your arms on, and just like, huh, it's a nice view outside because the window's right there. <laughs> well, that's how I look at it. I mean, it, it, I don't know. It doesn't seem tiny. very hygienic. It seems like you're... How? Washing. Are you not washing your hands in the toilet water? You're washing your hands yeah, in the water that comes directly from water, the pipes. And that fresh water and that goes fresh, down to flush the toilet. Uh, yeah, the water that builds up I don't up like you. the fact that you have to touch the back of the toilet to turn on the sink and wash your hands and stuff. Yeah, like. it's just... I don't like it. Yeah, well. I'm surprised I haven't seen any of these in there. It might be against code. Abusive balloons! Happy fracking whatever! <laughs> <laughs> really yes. These. <laughs> I'm gonna need to, like, bury my credit card after this and delete it from everywhere. Full-sized Porsche 917 replica that conceals a 132 scale working wooden slot car track <gasps> faithful to the iconic Le Mans Raceway? Oh, what? what? You made awesome. a slot car Le Mans inside of a 917. For those that don't know, the 917 is a, a very famous Porsche. Yeah. yeah. Extremely light. And it won a, bu a bunch of races. And, and Le Mans is a very famous circuit. There's a 24 hour race there. Yeah. yeah. That, that is, that That's is sick. Too... That's awesome. I love it. Pretty. Oh my God. Also, I wonder what year. I want to see where it is in real life. Oh, uh, yeah. Those are uh, traditionally the red cars of the Ferraris. I wonder if this is the same year as the uh, like Ford, uh, like Ford versus Ferrari. I think '66. I think it was uh, Le Mans, 1966. Uh, it's, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I. Uh... And there's just an E-Type sitting in the background. But the <laughs> pretty, that car was so pretty, they put yes. it in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Ah, this skull-shaped charcoal that takes barbecues to the next level. And these are the skulls. Hell yes! Cool. Oh, yeah. Could you grab a bag of fuck. the skulls of my enemies? I need to burn them in the pit. Wearable <laughs> sleeping bag. I have seen these. They look so cozy. The face on that one is oh. absolutely terrible. I think I just don't like the whole like snow suit faces. I just uh, need that for when it's oh cold as hell outside. I would live in that. I get zipped up inside that and you never see me again. This slide viewer <laughs> from the 50s. Yeah, I go out to run oh. errands in that in the middle of winter. Oh, oh, 
that's really cute. Oh, you could totally 3D print this and get like uh, the cheap magnifying glasses off Amazon, pop out the lenses and put them into the print. That's a really cool idea. Our, 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 what's, what's going on with the arms? There's a giant... Oh, I see. There's pillows that you can remove <laughs> or keep in with the... Yeah, I've, I've thought about that. Sleepers. Yeah, well, I'm a side sleeper. I'd like that because, don't get me wrong, you know, I don't really have a problem sleeping on my side anymore, but I would like to be able to, like, lay flat on my side instead of being, like, like, like bunched up a little bit. Yeah, I, I'd probably see, I'd probably want to test and see how this feels. If I like it, I'd buy one. Slot. That seems really deep, but I don't know. I'd try it. That's That looks cool. Also a cool place to store snacks. A smart <laughs> hummingbird feeder. Yeah, I just yeah. like putting gonna, my arm like up under my fluffy pillow and feeling like the cold side of the pillow underneath and stuff. Mm. That's how I usually sleep when I sleep on my side. It's like my okay. arm's like this under my head, basically. I'm gonna be a jerk here. This is not a smart hummingbird feeder. Uh, that's an Insta360 Go, I believe. Uh, the two or three model. Uh, it's just a magnetic camera that's a great camera, but it just, it has a bunch of different magnetic plates. So uh, people have made custom housings for it that you can just clip in the camera. If it's not that, it is an, a, a very much a ripoff of the design, but it looks magnetic. It looks like it comes out. The feeder itself looks like a normal hummingbird feeder. So I'm not entirely sure this, this has done anything innovative. I'm sorry. It's just glorified camera bracket. SNL Spider-Man. Marvel team up Spider, uh, Spider-Man, the not ready for prime time. I'm players live from New York. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, Jane Kirk. Wow, <laughs> the OGs. Like, for, like, dude. I, 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 w I love that. I, Belushi, no, that samurai's for real. <laughs> God. <laughs> It's Saturday night! I've always wanted to do that. Along with coming soon to Walt Disney Home DVD. Villa Roy and Bach. La Boule. Oh my god, you slice up Marvin the Martian, or you've made a, a, an Art Deco art Death Star. Bowl white, bowl flat white, universal plate white, serving plate white, universal plate white, bowl flat white, bowl white. It, it's cool. <laughs> Great for like a, you know, romantic dinner for two or something that I wouldn't use these for every day. Oh my god. I go crazy. Armchair <laughs> stairs. Arm stairs was right there. Uh, circa 1840s. Oh, wait, where did it go? Oh, it starts out below. I see. Oh, oh that's really cool. You flip the entire thing over and pop that last bit out and, and you get armchairs. That's really cool. Bring this to a friend's yeah. house who doesn't own a cat and stick it under the door frame while they're in the bathroom. <laughs> I just want that because it's cute. <laughs> oh. oh no! They'd be like, what the fuck's a cat doing in my house? All of a sudden, you just take it there and like, meow, meow. <laughs> and be like, and all of a sudden, he'd be like, dude, dude. And all of a sudden, he's like, there's a cat in my house. And he's just be like, I know, dude. I'm petting him. He's super cool. He's like, get him out of my house. Aw, but he's such a good. He wants in the bathroom with you. Look at that. <laughs> uh, my my dog would be so confused and terrified by that. <laughs> Gave my woodworker friend a sketch idea for storage. He delivered. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and with just oh. a little top bit. Uh, is awesome. there lighting on it? It looks like there's lighting under here too. Oh, awesome. that's, that's very nice. That's very, very nice. I don't even collect vinyl. And I think that's absolutely perfect. Swab mm. blue duster. <gasps> oh my God. This is so <laughs> now, now I want it's like so the electric cute. compressed air uh, thingy, but it's a whooper. That would be amazing. Periodic table. Uh, there's always that one person that takes the jokes to its literal extreme. It's it's cool. It's probably at MIT or something. Oh, uh, dear God. You did not need to put this much effort into that. A woman's glove from 1850s in London used for self-defense. That's that's straight up cat, cat claw gloves. Yes. For cat and I. Yeah, that's a cat I, woman I glove. Them. I need non-sharp ones. It's like a prop. I don't know. I just want them. A tetra tower. I just, I just find this infuriating because it'll never be solved. I always dreamed I'd have my own in action figure? Uh, I'm, I'm, I swear this is an obvious plan, but apparently not. Who even 
fracking cares? Just <laughs> falling asleep on a pile of unfolded laundry like a lazy piece of crap. The inaction fig the action figure. They didn't use an action figure and OP did? Well done, OP, for making the joke they should have made. Contains yeah. one one piece of crap and one one pile of clean laundry. At least it's clean. Here's an end grain cutting board I made. It's my first try at this design. There were a few issues, uh, but the next batch will be better. Wenge, African mahogany, and, and hard, hard maple. maple. Whoa! I have no, I, I, I have no idea what end grain is, but I, I guess it's the, 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 you chop it in half and then you put that side up. That's what I'm gathering from this? That is so cool. Do you want with I hexagons? Want that. The, the best of guns. This glowstone lamp. Ah! <laughs> I like that. That's cute. I built the <laughs> euthanasia coaster. Oh, oh. does oh, it actually Jesus. hold up? Connects are a little bit more rugged than Lego with you know, stuff like this. I'm curious if it actually runs, like reliably, not just like one one shot. This tip-free restaurant in Ohio. Yeah, all, all, all of it. All, I, it uh, there's, there's no excuse for like one industry being able to play, pay their employees super less. And then being like, well, if you get good service, you get tips. Tips is supposed to be on top of the time you have already given to the business. If your restaurant can't afford to pay people a living wage, then either your prices are set incorrectly or your business model isn't viable. Sorry. It's... <laughs> R5, there's more than meets the eye with that new firmware. Oh, Canon R5. Yes, I saw this. Oh my God. I often check the Big Bad Toy Store, <laughs> my favorite collectible site, uh, like their, their new pre-orders. And I waffled on this one so much, but I'm, I am staunchly a Sony camera uh, fan for reasons I won't get into now. Uh, but there's a camera called the R5 that came out somewhat recently. It's part of the new Canon R line. Uh, and they, they, they made it. There's a collab with Canon and Transformers, and it's it's an actual camera. Like, yeah, I just got to the next image. It it, it looks like a camera. It's amazing. If they had a, a Sony A7 III or like uh, the FX30, I would buy it in an instant. This mustard tube squeezer, but for toothpaste. Fun fact. Yes. Um, I invented something like this. I am not kidding. It, it, it wasn't as efficient as this. It was. It went the other way. It like squashed. So it was a toothpaste. It was a toothbrush holder and toothpaste dispenser. I was not good at naming things. I was in first grade, uh, but it was a PVC thing with a with a like wedge inside of it and a screw that I got from my dad's garage. And you screwed it down, and it squished the toothpaste tube onto the toothbrush for you, and then you pulled it out. And it was meant for people with disabilities so that they could only like if they only had one hand, they could shove the toothpaste the toothbrush in, turn the knob, and bring it out, and it would have toothpaste on it. Uh, and I got first in the in the district, and then like eighth or something in the state. I don't remember. It was invention convention. If you guys have that, this is way more efficient. Although I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you can operate it with one hand, so I still have si kind of a leg up. This TV show idea. MTV should do a show where they have a young woman read three of the antlerist uh, messages <laughs> from guys in her DMs in front of the three men's moms, and the moms have to guess which one was their son. That is such an MTV <laughs> idea. Oh a screenshot of the DM will be projected as well. So the moms can use uh, their grammar as a clue. Oh, they even oh. get the grammar and like the capitalization and formatting. Oh, I love this idea. Oh my God, yes. I wouldn't be against it. Damn. So. It always cracks me up when I see uh, um, women uh, that I'm friends with on Facebook making posts about dudes that fucking drop dick pics in their inboxes and how they found their mom on their social media and sent, it, uh, sent a copy of the message she's oh. all. I'm just like fucking owned. That, dude, that's why don't send I don't. That's pictures why of you shouldn't dick. do that. So, yep. This is again why you don't send dick, pic, dick pics. Nope. Don't send. Like, that's the thing. It, like, it's like, it doesn't you gonna photograph do well. It doesn't to, matter. It what doesn't, are you going to do if you're just talking to a woman in person and you run out of stuff to say? You're not just going to whip it out and be like, my dick! Like, oh. <laughs> now, I, it's never going I've actually to move had, forward I've actually had anything like, that your goal is. I've had women ask me to send one, and I refused. Because I'm about to have, like... like picture of my unit out there for like the whole world to see yeah like chris porter said all three times that he's been asked for one he sent that woman a picture of richard nixon with the caption it's tricky god 
was going to say, it, there was a, a, a guy he was talking about who was just like, you know, my wife's an Instagram model. And, you know, she takes pride in, you know, like posting stuff and everything like that. And here's the thing. Occasionally, some dude gets brave and decides to send her a dick pic. Well, I was going to say, they send her a dick pic, guess what? They're going to get one right back. <laughs> and guess whose it is? <laughs> oh. And it's just like, hey. Was like, that takes bravery, because it's just like, dear, dear God. Uh, so, anyway. Didn't know I wanted that. Kitchen Warfare. So... This was a good. Uh, this was a good one. I there's several things in here. I'm very, very deeply gonna consider getting. We'll see. I mean, I'm probably gonna go broke, but that's just that's the name of the game. But all right, everybody, that's gonna do it. So I mainly until, want the curtain hangers. Oh, the curtain one. That that's that's a definite. That is a 100. percent If I can find those, I'm getting them, and I'm putting them in my room, and I'm just like, yep, yeah, that's it. My life is complete now. <laughs> my my room can be pitch black now, and I don't have to work. Oh, but all right. Anyway, that's gonna do it. This was MK. Didn't know I wanted that kitchen warfare. If you want to see more from MK, click their name in the title of the video. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>